Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider before engaging in any physical activity that may cause or aggravate a condition or injury. We want you safe and feeling good. Hi, welcome to week one of Primal 7's knee series. I'm Jenna Ellis, physical therapist for Primal 7. The purpose of this video is to improve flexibility that's limiting the knee, re-educate muscles surrounding the knee to work properly, and finally, putting them together to achieve full range of motion of the knee with good movement mechanics. In this series, we will use five basic exercises. Our format will be timed holds, and our focus is on finding initial joint ranges and holding them with good alignment. Our band will be set an inch or two above the ankle, the rings will be locked, and the safety covers will be pulled up all the way over the band release levers. The purpose of preparation is first to do an alignment check to make sure that we're practicing stacking all the joints of the body perfectly for good, efficient movement. Second, to increase range of motion in all the areas that we will train. And finally, to increase circulation so that our body is warm and ready to move. In this sequence, we will use two exercises. The first is the hamstring stretch to increase flexibility and create space in the back of the leg. And second, the single leg march to activate our glutes or our butt muscles to practice maintaining balance and also maintaining the hips to be level. Let's start with the hamstring stretch. We'll first get set up for the hamstring stretch. It's helpful to put your left foot directly centered underneath you with your toes turned out just a little bit for balance. You'll place your right heel in the band Staying up nice and tall with good posture and your belly button pointed forward, you'll slide your right heel out until you find a nice stretch in the back of your leg. Also, make sure you're not grasping green. You're placing your hands behind it so that you can press your hands forward to help with the stretch. We want to see a 10 second hold. After 10 seconds, bend your leg and bring your right foot back to start. Your left leg will then start the 10 second hold. If at all you feel unbalanced, bend your knee, then bring your foot out of the band. Make sure you're not tipping forward and you're keeping your posture up nice and tall. After you're done with the hamstring stretch, you'll take your foot out of the band and walk the band forward and put it at your chest height. You'll be then set up for the single leg march. To start with the single leg march, bring your feet underneath you centered forward. Your eyes will then pick something out about 10 feet in front of you for balance. Come into your primal lean, squeeze your butt, zip your abs up nice and tight. We'll start with the left foot first. You're going to lift the left foot up just an inch or so above the ground. Make sure you squeeze your butt nice and tight on that right side. You'll hold for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, replace your foot down to the ground and switch to the other side. Make sure that you're keeping your butt and your abs nice and tight. If not, you'll feel your back start to bow and that can create some pain. When you're holding this, it should feel like you're stepping up a stair, but holding for 10 seconds. After you're done with the single leg march, you can either go back to the hamstring stretch for round two of preparation, or move forward, turn around in the band, and face the anchors. The band will go around your shoulders to get set up for the squat hold. In preparation, we focused on creating space in the back of the leg and activating our glute muscles to keep our hips at a certain level. In this training sequence, we will focus more in depth on learning to contract certain muscles and hold it in place. Our goal is to learn how these muscles work and also explore the range of motion that we have. In this sequence, we will use a squat hold to create space in the hips and also learn lower body endurance. And second, a quad set to learn how to properly activate our quadriceps in a controlled manner. 
We will begin with a squat hold for 10 seconds. To set up for the squat hold, put the band underneath your shoulders. Your feet will be a hips width apart and you'll be in your primal lean with your butt squeezed and your tummy on nice and tight. Your hands will be resting gently on green. To perform this, sit your butt back like you're sitting into a chair or sitting into a step. We want to see a 10 second hold with this. Make sure that your eyes are connected to the anchors and your knees are not caving in or going past your toes. If you find that your heels are coming up or the band is tipping your upper body forward, stand back up, readjust your feet by moving them slightly forward, about a step or two. After you're done with your 10 second hold, stand back up and come out of the band. You'll then sit on the floor and place your knee into the band. You'll be then set up for the quad set. To set up for the quad set, what you'll do is place the knee in the band. Squeezing the top part of your thigh muscle nice and tight, you'll press the knee straight down into the band and hold for 10 seconds. After a 10 second hold, slowly let the knee come back up. You'll then take the leg out of the band and switch to the left leg. After a 10 second hold there, you'll take the leg out. What you want to feel when you do this is your top of the leg squeezing nice and tight. If you put your hand on top, you can actually feel that contraction. Think about squishing a ball underneath your leg. After you're done with both, you'll come to a stand again to get ready for the squat or if this is the end of round two of training, you'll stand back up to get ready for the quad stretch. The purpose of restoration is to cool down and give the muscles we worked a chance to relax. It also helps improve flexibility and carry it over into everyday tasks. In this sequence, we will use a quadriceps stretch to improve flexibility in the front of your thigh. An added bonus of improved quadriceps flexibility is your kneecap will sit better in your patellar groove, lessening stress and strain at your knee. Let's move on to the quadriceps stretch with a chair for 10 seconds each leg. To set up for the quad stretch, bring a chair in front of you for balance. You might have to adjust the band up a little bit higher depending on the amount of stretch you want to get. You'll center the left leg underneath you and then place the right foot in the band. Your knees will be parallel to each other. Squeeze the right butt cheek, abs in nice and tight, and raise your right arm. We want to see a 10 second hold. After 10 seconds, remove the right foot and then switch with the left. It's also helpful to pick an object about 10 feet out in front of you to focus on. Remember, abs are nice and tight, squeeze your butt, and look forward. You should feel a nice stretch in the front of your thigh. With the restoration complete, take this awareness of balance and posture into every movement throughout your day. This week, think about walking heel to toe squeezing your butt and keeping your hips nice and level. Our training emphasis on balance and posture is training for your knees, your hips, and your brain. In the next part of the series, we will continue to use the skills we acquired in this session to maintain proper alignment as we move through new ranges in your motion. Remember, you can return to any part of the series at any time you need. The focal points continue to matter regardless of which mode of exercise you choose whether it be in the Primal 7 unit or anywhere else. Great job today, and I'll see you next week.